from what we can see in those visuals, the Prime Minister has also arrived. That's his cavalcade pulling up in the BJP headquarters. The uh, Home Minister, BJP President, Mr. J.P. Nadda, the Defence Minister, Mr. Rajnath Singh, all standing together to greet the Prime Minister on this very important day. The manifesto is going to detail out what the BJP plans for the next five years if it comes back to power. And there you are. That's the Prime Minister arriving for this mega event. Mr. Mishra, political analyst, also with us on the broadcast to give his and weigh in on his uh, thoughts and perspective of uh, what this could mean for the nation. Mr. Mishra, the Bharati Janta Party is uh, tiptoeing on a number of issues. It's also steady planted and proud of uh, some of the promises it has made. The Prime Minister time and again has said that the four classes that define India, which includes women and farmer and the youth, need to be given reattribution when it comes to resources and focus. Your thoughts? Yeah, actually drafting, you can say an agenda or manifesto, it is a very technical part, especially for any political party. It is an art, it is a science, and it is a philosophical type of the work also. If we make a comparison between the Congress as well as you can say the BJP manifesto, we always notice that in Congress, some of the things, few of the things, it is always lacking. For example, when BJP is talking for 20407, what will be the situation of India? What is the need of talking 2047 uh, India situation? As well as BJP is always talking about thousand year back. It means, it clearly shows that what is happening in the mind, what kind of planning they are going to do uh, and uh, through their manifesto they are going to represent it. It means they are going to classify their manifesto typically in two or three major parts. First, establishing the past glory. Past glory means thousand years back, whatever the situation was in India, we are going to rebuild. The second important thing, whatever the current scenario it is going on, current challenges it is going on, a common public government, or you can say that they are facing removal or a cure for that. And third, what will be the future? Of course, I think that this is one of the most scientific approach where vision as well as the mission statement, it is available. It is clearly lacking in the, you can say, the agenda or manifesto of Congress. Congress is merely focusing on current issues, current challenges and current problems. That is only one part, one third part of any manifesto, any scientific manifesto. Now, for entire BJP manifesto, entire BJP ideology, what BJP leaders, even they could not utter, they are not able to uh, make uh, uh, all these things in one sentence. One sentence is statement for entire BJP activity, elections, campaign strategy that curing or healing the damage, 1000 year damage created by or done by Mughals, 200 years damage by Britishers and 70 years damage by Congress. This is the core ideology and BJP should write, should make a headline that we are not going only into election, we are planning to reversal of damage, 1000 year damage created by Mughals, Britishers, as well as the oppositions after indi independ independence in, for in 70 years. In a collective manner, we are planning for that. This should be the statement. Vision, this should be the vision as well as the mission statement. Okay, all what right. Mr. Alok, Alok Mehta, editorial director of ITV Network, also joins us on the broadcast. Mr. Mehta, very good morning to you, sir. The Sankalp Patra is, uh, is an intention rather than a promise. If you, you know, look in retrospect of uh, the two Sankalp Patras or uh, the manifestos that have come out in 2014 and 19, uh, what has been achieved and what is missing according to you? Vinit, uh, certainly is a very important uh, issue because of the commitments. Sankalp is a commitment, not the only the intention. Because the intention one can have, okay, we will reach to and we will give you, we want to do something. But here the commitment, which we, we can prove it or we can uh, implement it. That's why I feel earlier also, Congress used to do it with some coterie. What I used to say at that time, since Indira Gandhi days, four or five people, even maybe from JNU and 
one from media, some uh, their own hardcore supporters. These kind of people, they used to prepare some manifesto and then they release it in a, a normal in a press conference or so. Now, since last few years, they started a, a big way after Prime Minister Narendra Modi started the, the programs which are going to implement and how they are ready to implement it and how already they worked on it because his vision is for next 50 years or maybe our next 25 years if you say at least 2047. So I think uh, commitment certainly they can claim what the roads, how they are uh, working all over the India from village from northeast to uh, Kashmir and uh, Kashmir to Kanyakumari or in Maharashtra or in Madhya Pradesh and in a uh, tribal area. So these kind of, because the connectivity is the main problem, you know, for our communication. You see, the communication is all depend on the roads. Even if you want uh, hospitals or the clinic or the primary school, you need the uh, roads. So these kind of commitment people can understand. And the, the uh, if the power we have a same party, then it's, uh, it's a double engine Sarkar, what they say, is uh, easy to implement because sometimes they object, okay, the highway, you can't go. But in Bihar, we have seen when Lalu Yadav and all, Ramli Devi and others, they're there. So they used to obstacle, but they give some kind of, because nobody should implement it. And that's why the Maowadi and all these uh, activities were there in Bihar or the Tisgar and other places. So I think this kind of commitment for the future, for the power, electricity, especially in this uh, commitment, Sankal Patra today, which, uh, they are going to release, but I feel they certainly they will uh, release what uh, work they have done in last uh, five years or ten years and what is the reason for the women, for the youth, for the elder people, for the tribals, for the poor people and especially for the farmers. Because the agriculture is not only to give the subsidies, agriculture is for export. Now, you know, we can compete with or when I say in the European countries, even the, the United Kingdom depend on the neighboring countries for the, even the vegetables and other things. Or even the, for the uh, fish and... But here, now India has such a scope. And African countries also used to feed the uh, America, the uh, European countries. So now in agriculture, we want more modernization. That's why his emphasis is self-reliance. What I say in a, in a, in a cut to chart, self-reliance for everybody. For youth, don't go for it uh, only for government job because this is the main issue. Since last few days, you see in the media also we are talking about the employment. Nobody bothered to see that in any other countries, do they have so many uh, staff uh, government workers? No. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.